Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to do something a little bit different for this episode of the Beginner's Guide and I think this is going to be a pretty fun one because we're actually going to be doing some of the missions. A lot of you said that missions are a great way to make money and experience early on and I remember this was one of the ways that I did it early on when I first had the game also. And it did seem to be pretty effective, especially if you might not be the best at taking down tons of animals fast. Because uh, obviously that type of stuff takes experience and time to learn where all the animals are and how to properly take them down to make the most out of your time. So uh, for those of you that aren't necessarily the greatest at taking out a lot of animals fast, missions might be the best alternative. Uh, we're about to find that out today, but we've got this level 2 rabbit here to start things out. And I want to get it down because they sometimes can make diamond at level 2. Uh, after we shoot that one, we're going to run up with the shotgun and see if we can get a couple more. I think we might be able to if we're lucky. And that might have hit one. It's so hard to tell though. But we definitely got the one that we shot with the 22. I don't know where these other ones ran off to. Uh, let's grab this guy. 220, that's actually a really big one. So that's a pretty good way to start things out, I'd say. And that guy right there is going to be our second victim of the day. And that one is just a female, unfortunately. But we do have another one running away right there. And I think we got it. It's so hard to tell at farther distances with these little guys. But it looks like we definitely ended up getting it. Now, whether it's a female or a male is hard to tell. It is just a female, sadly. But I'd say that's a decent way to start things out. They don't give a lot of cash, but they are a lot of fun. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, now, what I was about to say is our first mission that we have on the day is to take a picture of a fallow deer. And if I remember right... That's a pretty easy one to get. It used to be a lot harder, but I'm pretty sure in the last couple years they've made it a bit easier compared to when the game first came out. Because when it first came out, you had to get really close to get the picture to register on pretty much all of the picture missions. And I think since then they've kind of changed that, which will make it a little bit easier for us now. And that right there is actually another decent level 2 European rabbit. My question is, why are they suddenly not going back to their burrows? I remember they used to always run straight to the burrows, and recently they haven't been, which is a little bit weird. But honestly, can't complain. Makes it a lot easier for us to get these little guys down. That one is only a 1.90, but still nice to get another one down. Maybe we'll have some good respawns from those. And that is a fallow deer right there, and this is going to be what we'll try to take a picture of. It is a pretty small one, but it's in a good area, very close to this outpost right here. You can find fallow deer in most of these fields around this time of day. Uh, let's actually take a quick look at their feed time. They feed from 5 to 9.30, so during that time frame, you will find them in the fields quite often. And we're going to try and get close and take a picture of this one for this mission. Oh, I just realized this wind is absolutely terrible. We need to move to the left or else this thing is going to notice us and that will be quite unfortunate if it does. We could try to get a picture from here, but I don't think it will register. Yeah, we definitely need to be closer for this to work out, unfortunately. And it's spooked off. That's quite unfortunate. Um, Maybe it'll get stuck. Then we'd be able to get a picture, but does not look like that is going to be the case. We can just hope we can get close enough to get this to count before it does get away. And honestly, we might be able to. Ah, uh, sadly not though. Well, quite unfortunate. Oh my gosh. I did not think there was one that close and how did that not count for the mission? That makes no sense. That thing was right on top of us. I don't understand how that didn't count, but I guess uh, anyway, we've been stocking up on this other one because the first one ran away and it has not come back. So I had to move on to a different one and then we just had that other one walk up on us and somehow that did not count as being close enough. So I don't even know. You know, I just realized something. It has to be in Rothenfeld, which is over here. <laughs> I probably should have looked at the map a little bit 
uh, more because I kind of only looked at this area. I didn't realize we had to be over here, so that's unfortunate. I guess in that case, let's just go ahead and take this big level 4 fallow deer out. That's quite unfortunate, but I guess I should have known that it would probably be in the starting area. But that's still a pretty big fallow deer, so it is nice to get it down, even though I was not able to use this for completing the mission. That's just quite unfortunate. Oh, well, there's a few fallow deer, so... I guess now we just gotta wait for them to come back and we should be able to get a picture, or maybe... Yeah, didn't think that would work, but it was worth a try. I just received the there we go. Oh, I'm sure dear Linda will love this. Everything you see now is part of the reserve, but the land itself is actually privately owned by the Zummer family. The current head of the family is Robert Zummer, and he's very supportive of the hunting reserve. Well as long as it doesn't get in his way. You see, the Zama family business has an agricultural arm, which include the grain and cornfields spread throughout half of the reserve. Unfortunately, fallow deer love corn, and they've dug into the Petershain fields recently. Zomer usually turns to Gerlinda to keep the fallows off his fields, but she's been bogged down with the book lately. If you feel like hunting some fallow deer in Petershain, Zomer will make it worth your while. Alright, so I think that's it with the uh, dialogue. We should have a new mission available, and that did end up leveling us up, so that's pretty nice. We got 2,500 cash, decent amount of XP, and now we can get on to the next one, which is travel to Petersheim Cornfields and harvest two fallow deer. Then we also have a skill point available, which we will put into probably... You know, let's go ahead and get another into spotting knowledge. This is going to be pretty important as we move on, so might as well get it now. Let's just go claim these fallow deer, then we will head over to the next mission. While we're on our way over to the next mission, let's go ahead and get this lookout point unlocked, because that will give us a little bit of XP. Well, there we have a couple fallow deer right there in the fields that we need them to be in. Uh, there's one buck and then a bunch of does, but it doesn't matter uh, whether it's a buck or doe for this mission, so... We'll be able to take out two of those and it should complete it. Now, if you want to guarantee that they will be in these fields when you do this mission, you do need to make sure that it's at their feed time, which, uh, for the fallow deer, let's actually just real quickly grab this feed zone so that you guys can see. It is 5 to 9.30, and that'll pretty much guarantee that you will have some here in the cornfields to take for this mission. Alright, so they are getting pretty close now. Let's, uh, actually try to get their attention a little bit. And then we will put a shot into that little buck right there, along with one of the does if we can. They spooked off quicker than I expected, so we'll have to take a walking shot, but should not be too big of an issue. In fact, I think we got that one right there. Yeah, we definitely did. So that should be our two fallow deer for this mission. There is that little level three buck. And I think that's all the dialogue, but here is the uh, second one. Uh, she's probably going to give a little bit more dialogue, so we'll just claim it and kind of let that play out. But this should complete the mission. There you go. Another one. I'll let Zomer know. This should calm his nerves. Well, it seems someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomer, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomel is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Bow hunting is one of his passions. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. Well, it is uh, sounding like this next mission is not going to be nearly as easy as the first couple, so... I guess let's set out and try to find a fox and take it down with the bow. This is going to be interesting. There actually is some side missions available, so I think we're going to end up doing one of these instead because this one's relatively easy. We just need to find five tracks from the same fallow deer. Uh, that's going to be incredibly easy since I already know where a herd is. And then also this one right here seems to be pretty easy also. We got to take a picture of a fallow deer with the... Uh, 
Konigsberg Lake in the background, which should be pretty easy also. So we'll do this one and then possibly this one also. Well, we already found the tracks of a fallow deer, so now we just gotta find the uh, next tracks that it has and actually now that I think of it it's probably gonna be better to chase down these because these will be fresher tracks therefore more likely to uh, have them closer together and not have them just disappear randomly because it looks like those might have already started disappearing because I didn't see any others close by but uh, this should be pretty easy right here to find the rest and we already have uh, three of these and actually did we already pick up five from the same fallow deer? I, I guess we did. I only picked up four tracks, but maybe some of them were from earlier. Honestly, I have no clue, but we completed it still. Okay, so now we gotta ID two calls from fallow deer, or calls from two different fallow deer. Um, that shouldn't be too hard, honestly. I think we can do that just by getting them to make warning calls. And there's the first one. Now we just gotta get another one to call. One of these should be pretty easy to uh, spook it a little bit just so that it does a warning call. In fact, let's uh, start running a little bit. See if we can get a warning call out of one of these. There is a couple of them right on top of us. If this doesn't get them to do a warning call, I don't know what will. They are so close to us. They have to have noticed we're here. Oh yeah, she definitely knows we're here. This might be it. This might be a warning call. No, nope, it's just a spooking off. Okay. Well, didn't quite go how I wanted. However, we'll keep trying. We got a bunch of them around us, so we should eventually get it to work. And there we go. That should be it. Although it actually doesn't look like it. It might... Was that the same fallow deer that called before? It might have been because that didn't complete it. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it was the same one that kept calling, so it didn't count as being two different ones. There we go. We finally got a call from a second one. I just had to go to a completely different area to make sure that I wouldn't get the same one. So for anybody that is trying to complete this, there is some feed zones right over here for fallow deer, which is very close to the starting lodge. And then I got my other ones over here in these fields because there's quite a few fallow deer that feed in this area. But you can really get them feeding in any of these cornfields. So if you're trying to complete one of these missions, look around the cornfields. So I just realized that we can actually get the... 12 gauge pump action shotgun. We have enough shotgun score for it. Unfortunately, we're a little bit short on money, but I think we can easily get that just by killing a few geese. So let's finish the video off with a little bit of goose hunting. And just like that, we have an absolute ton of geese down, and I'm almost positive that that first one we spotted is a rare, and it definitely looks like it. I don't think that's a brown hybrid. That looks to be a gray. So let's go ahead and, ah, no, it is just a brown hybrid. That's quite unfortunate. You know, I honestly thought that it was a rare, but it's just an uncommon, unfortunately. Uh, there's already more geese coming in. You guys can see just how insane the geese are. As always, they are just going crazy. Let's real quickly spot these. Then we will go claim everything because these are going to give us enough money to finally unlock the 12 gauge pump action. 
which is probably the best shotgun. If we can just hit this, that'd be good. Apparently, I can't hit one that's directly above me, but I can hit all those ones that were much farther away. Go figure. And we are out of ammo, but I think that is enough. Let's get all these claimed real quickly. You know, just as you think you're done picking them up, more come in and you just can't help but take a few shots at them and that's what we're gonna do here. Think we should be able to get most of these. Yeah, we're definitely hitting most of them. And there's only one or two that's gonna escape. Looks like three, but uh, that's still a good majority of them down. And this is why Weapon Pack 1 is now gonna become probably the most useful weapon pack for when you first start out the game. And just like that, we got our second level up just from goose hunting in this video. So in total, we've had three level ups between the missions and now the geese. So let's go grab the rest of these that we just took out. Then we'll add in those two points. At 1,000 cash a piece, these geese are absolutely insane for money. We had around 41,000 when we started hunting them, and we're at 76,000 now, which means we can go purchase the 12 gauge pump action shotgun, which is going to be massive for hunting geese. So let's go ahead and get that. And just like that, we are moving up in the world. We are about halfway through to getting the shotgun scope also, which is another really awesome thing to have. It helps for using slugs against stuff like deer. And then it can be used for the geese, but I definitely don't really use it that often. I find most of the time the iron sights do just as good as the scope could. But another thing that having the 22 will do is get your rifle score up. And as you can see, we have now unlocked a lot of the good rifles that we need for later on. We have the 7mm unlocked, which we'll probably work towards that in the next episode. And we also have stuff like the 6.5 unlocked. We have obviously all the DLC stuff. We have the 3030 unlocked now. I think the 338 is probably still locked because the 300s are. And let's see if we can find it. So yeah, the 338 still is locked, but it's only 1300 rifle score away. That won't take long to get, so we're making a lot of progress, and it's all thanks to the geese, really. But let's go ahead and put in the perk point and the skill point. I think for perks we will get uh, zeroing distance number two, so let's buy that and then activate it. And make sure that you activate these when you get one of these perks that has green because these are the ones that require you to activate them in order to be usable. And then over here, let's go ahead and get uh, third spotting knowledge. So now we'll be able to get all of the information we could possibly need from animals when we spot them, which is going to be absolutely amazing. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a comment down below with what you would like to see out of future episodes of the Ultimate Beginner series. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because... This is going to be a pretty helpful series, so if you have somebody that is new to the game or is thinking about getting the game, this is probably going to be the best series for them to get everything started. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!